Hello and welcome back to my channel. I am Catherine and today's video is the rules I give all my out school students. So every out school class that I do, these are the rules I say. I hope this video helps you. If it does, please don't forget to like this video and subscribe for more out school, teach online, traveling, work from home kind of content, I guess. <laughs> I got lots of stuff coming. So anyway, what are the rules that I give all my out school students at the beginning of all my classes? I will tell you. So I actually did not follow these rules at first. <laughs> I feel like many teachers warned me to do this and I just didn't. I was like, my students are sweet. They would never interrupt me. <laughs> they would never say nasty things to each other. They would never. Girl, I was wrong, okay? I was so wrong. Now, does that happen all the time? Do they interrupt me and call each other names all the time? No, absolutely not. The only time students have called each other names, they were brothers. They were brothers. But, oh my gosh, do they love to interrupt me? Do they love to talk over each other? Do they just love to talk? So, to control it, to have structure and order in my classroom. I will have order. I don't know if you know this, but the camera sits on um, this Harry Potter book. <laughs> Let me put that back so you're level. And I just watched that movie this weekend, so sorry for the umbrage reference. Anyway, but to have structure and order in my class, I have some rules. So the first rule is, if you want to say something, you must raise your hand, okay? I will call on you, you can say whatever you wanna say, but you must raise your hand. Do not interrupt me, do not talk over another student, raise your hands. That changed so much for me. That helped me so much in everything in my class. Me explaining the rules about certain games or what activities that we're doing. Students performing, wonderful, just so nice. <laughs> so yes, the first one is raise your hand. The second rule is we do not interrupt students while they are talking or performing. I teach a lot of acting and improv classes, so that's why I say performing, but you fill in whatever you want. You're welcome to take these rules. It's fine. I remind them, <laughs> if they want to say something, if they think about something that they wanna talk about, they must raise their hand. Do not interrupt another person. And the third big rule that I have is, I feel like I need to explain it a little bit, because <laughs> I don't think this is a rule many people have in their classes, so let me explain, let me explain. Like I just said, I teach a lot of acting classes, improv classes, classes like that, so students are performing, especially in improv, you know, you think on your feet, think things come out of the blue. Um, I have a lot of students before that will say, I don't want to do that. And I've also had students say, oh, that's a dumb idea, that's so stupid, so, Mm. Mm. I made a rule about it, okay? The arguably most important rule is you cannot say anything negative about anything in this class. You cannot say that sucked. You cannot say that was stupid. You cannot say that performance was horrible. I hated it. That was terrible. You're awful. Anything negative like that is not tolerated in my class and I will be angry about it. So that's like literally almost verbatim how I say it in my classes at the beginning because again, lots of performing things. I don't want a student to, especially a shy student, to say an idea and some other stu students say, that's stupid. That would make me so mad. Has that happened? No. Why? Because I say this rule. <laughs> I've had people before say, well, you're just giving us ideas because I literally go through it like that. I'm like, don't say it sucked because it didn't <laughs> and stuff like that. But I want to be very clear to them you better be nice. And to follow that up, I also say, you know, in improv, everything's made up. If you feel uncomfortable, if you feel weird, you're doing improv correctly. Because for a lot of people, myself included, improv is all about stepping outside of your comfort zone. You know, putting your ideas that you just thought of that might be kind of vulnerable out into the world and seeing what happens. Literally what it's pretty much all about. So I also include that. So I'm like, if you feel ridiculous, you're doing it right. You're doing good. And of course, with all the negative, I also say no name calling, no nothing, not tolerated, don't do it. So that's what I say in all my classes. Luckily, I've never had to kick anyone out. I've never had to, you know, email parents after classes, knock on wood, okay, I don't want to. I love the lovely students, please continue to be lovely. I just eliminate it at, from the get-go. So those are the main rules that I tell all my students to keep classes going well, nicely and smooth, and I highly recommend. You say them in your class too. <laughs> Especially the talking thing. The last thing I talked about may not entirely apply to your class, but the hand raising thing was a game changer, especially for my little my little ones under 10. Game changer. Game changer. 
So anyway, I hope these were helpful. Please drop down in the comments below what rules you implement in all your classes. I'd love to know. Maybe there's a better one that I need to include <laughs> to make my classes go even better. But honestly, I have really, really sweet students. So no complaints on my end. But yeah, anyway, Ooh, kicked my camera. Thank you so much for being here. Don't forget to subscribe and like this video and I'll see you in the next one. Okay, bye. For the arts. Anyway. <laughs>